Hey, so what is going on guys? It is Domino. Welcome back. We're doing another gameplay commentary, but this video isn't so much about the gameplay as you guys can probably tell from the title. We're actually going to be talking about the Olympics and, you know, last night, in case you haven't heard, it was the opening ceremony. Maybe you've been living under a rock for the past four years in this country, but there was a lot of hype, a lot of expectation, and I just thought it'd make a pretty cool video. I was like, you know what? I can do a commentary on this and everyone kind of have their input and stuff, you know, their favourite sports, what they thought of the opening ceremony. And, and first of all, yeah, let's talk about the opening ceremony. So... Um, I watched the whole thing last night and going into it before I, I turned it on I was a little bit worried you know would we let ourselves down as a country and it turns out we didn't you know when I look at the amazement in Beijing that we saw um, the, you know in Athens as well in 2004 and 2008 um, I thought I thought that'd be pretty hard to beat but you know it turns out we did our we did our own thing we did the kind of whole British thing you know the history through time we had our film our music and what it was pretty much like to be British which I, I thought was really really cool and really individual from what I've seen because normally you know it's about who can make the most fireworks go off who can you know have the prettiest colors and stuff and and those kind of things um but we did our you know we did our own little thing and i thought it worked really really well especially from a british perspective however i was a little bit worried i was listening to the commentators and stuff at how people you know from other countries would perceive it would they really understand it would they really be you know would they really care about british history um because you know a lot, a lot of people from other countries probably don't even study british history and even in this country i'm, I'm sure half the idiots who live in this country probably didn't understand what was going on but you know we had the whole industrial revolution we had the nhs through time and stuff and i thought it was really really good it was different it was unique and i really really enjoyed watching it and i'm sure many of my um subscribers are actually from different countries so you guys can tell me what you thought of it and whether you found it you know you inter you were interested in it and stuff i'm sure many of you guys anyway i've listened you know you know who james bond is you know who the queen is and stuff like that and all in all i was you know actually last night i'm gonna say this I was proud to be British and normally I don't say this because I think our country does so many things wrong in so many different areas of the world. Um, but for a change I'm actually going to say I was proud to be British and I'm sure many out there, many other people out there were as well, especially on Twitter everyone was you know saying how proud they were and I think the organisers and the people who made that um, did it really well, really really well and I couldn't imagine doing something like that. The pressure, imagine if you get one thing wrong how embarrassing it looks when the whole world is watching. I, I, I've got to take my hats off to them because they did an amazing job. Um, but anyway, guys, let's talk about sport because you guys can have your opinions on this. And I'm interested to know what sports you guys are actually going to be watching and, you know, what you're going to be interested in. For me, I'm a, I'm quite a boxing fan. You know, I don't follow it religiously, but I do enjoy watching it, especially at the Olympics. Um, even though there's no heavyweights, I do like watching the heavyweights. Um, but at the Olympics, it's more about, you know, the youngsters getting a chance and stuff. And... The, I remember watching Amir Khan, as if you guys don't know him, he's a British boxer. Uh, he won um, silver eight years ago, I think it was now. I remember watching that final, and man, I feel so old now. Eight years ago, time has flown by, and I guess I'll never see an Olympics again in Britain before I die. Unless I, you know, unless they find some amazing thing in which I can live forever. Um, but yeah, I remember watching it eight years ago, and I just love watching the boxers. You know, it's all about the footwork, less about the punching in the Olympics. And that's something I'll definitely be looking forward to. I'll also be looking forward to the tennis, you know. Um, I know a lot of the big play tennis players are, are really, really wanting to win. Because in tennis, you know, you can win the Grand Slams every year. But the Olympic gold only comes at once about every four years. Which is, you know, everyone, everyone wants to win that. And I know Federer's already won it. I think he won Beijing in 2008. And I, I guess Nadal will be looking for it as well. Um, but I'm hoping Murray can do it. You know, after his Wimbledon, you know, I, I consider it a success. Getting to a final at Wimbledon, that was a success. And I think he can really do it, and I think it's his time to shine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm also looking forward to the football. I've already seen a bit of that as well. And the thing I like about Olympic football is that the youngsters get a chance, you know. Um, you're only allowed three players over the age of 23, and you get to see all the young talent on offer and stuff. And I think it makes more. I think it makes it more competitive. You know, everyone's a bit younger and stuff, um, a bit less developed. And I think uh, all the countries are a lot more equal. As you guys saw probably the other day, Japan beat Spain 1-0. Uh, it was a great game. I, Japan could have beat Spain 4-0 on that day. Um, but nevertheless, you know, they won and they, they took three points. Um, it was, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm pretty psyched. I guess everyone is looking forward to the 100 meters. But to me, the 100 meters, you know, it's over in 10 seconds. My, my luck, I'd probably go to the toilet, get back and it finished. I guess everyone loves Usain Bolt. Um, but yeah, that's just my take on it. I guess the, you know, the synchronized swimming and stuff, that'd be pretty cool. And of course, the beach volleyball, you know, the ladies from Brazil. A lot of men will be looking forward to that. Um, and I'll definitely be tuning into that. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed the commentary. Gameplay is coming to an end. Uh, maybe you guys can leave me some thoughts on the commentary. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching and peace.